Hello and welcome to the third, fourth, fourth installment of the Remember All Readathon, but it's about book three, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. My favorite part of Prisoner of Azkaban is that it's the best book of the series, and no one can argue with that. It's just a fact. J.K. Rowling said it on Pottermore. It's written in a UN declaration. Prisoner of Azkaban is the best book. The end. Well, that was a good video. J.K. Rowling. On a more serious black note, so J.K. Rowling has said many times that the Dementors represent depression. They swoop in and make you feel terrible about yourself, make you remember all the worst things in your life. They make you feel, as Ron says, like you'll never be happy again. One thing that I love about this figurative use of the Dementors is that with the Dementors we can clearly see that these bad feelings that you're experiencing they're all in your head. It's not a part of the actual reality in that moment. And the reason that you're feeling that way isn't because of anything that you did wrong or anything that's wrong with you. It's an outside force that you can't control. And of course, there are ways to fight it. There are things that you can do to help, but even the best Patronus charm isn't permanent. It'll only keep the Dementors at bay. They can always come back. But no one expects you to be shouting Expecto Patronum 24-7. And no one's gonna think any less of you for having a strong reaction to the Dementors. Well, except Draco Malfoy. But remember that next time you or someone you know is having a bad mental health day. Don't be a Malfoy. Now on to less serious, though in some ways much more serious, thoughts. It's time for the Room of Ruminations. <sighs> In the first chapter, Harry was so concerned about waking up the Dursleys with the sound of his quill on parchment. And then a few minutes later, he's swinging open his window, putting owls in cages, ripping paper off the packages without a care in the world. Dude, bro. We get a little bit more of that total awkwardness of broom culture in the wizarding world when Harry's trying to distract himself from Aunt Marge's insults with what he remembers from the broomstick servicing kits. Now, this is a PG-rated Harry Potter Alliance channel, so I'm gonna just... Leave it at that. The servicing kit. What if Sirius had transformed right then and there on Magnolia Crescent? I mean, Harry had seen him on the Muggle News, sure, but he didn't know that he was a wizard or that he was after him specifically. I mean, like, seriously, what would have happened? You never notice how often you use the word seriously until you're making a video about Sirius Black. It's only so many times I can make the pun before it just gets old. So what I'm hearing is that the night bus is basically Uber for wizards. You throw out your arm and Stan Shunpike's like, That'll be three galleons for a toothbrush and the color of your choice it's Surge Pryson tonight, Ari. It's Uber Pool. That's what, that's what it is. I find it pretty interesting that Harry actually describes Sirius as looking a bit like a vampire, when we often hear Snape described that way. Like those two characters, truly each other's foils. I want Harry's life at Diagon Alley. Wake up every morning, have tea delivered in bed from Tom. Spend the warm summer days strolling the shops and hanging out in cafes. Do your homework at Florian Fortescue's, where Florian helps you out and gives you free ice cream every half. Hour. WTF, Harry, that is so much ice cream. And the award for best book title goes to Broken Balls When Fortunes Turn Foul. <clears throat> Great line from Mr. Weasley. Black's not gonna be caught by a 13-year-old wizard. What is with every Weasley's sarcastic lines turning out to be true? I do not understand why clothing can't be mended to look just like new. There are plenty of repairing and cleaning and transfiguration spells. Why are Professor Lupin's and the Weasley's clothes all darned and patched and fraying and old? And why was the label on Professor Lupin's suitcase peeling when he had clearly just transfigured it to say Professor? Neville apparently keeps Trevor the Toad under his hat. Casual. So you know how people in paintings will often go visit each other in other paintings? What do you think it looks like in between paintings? And with that thought, let's head on over to the Owlry. Fun fact, I have trouble pronouncing both my L's and my R's. I love the word Owlry. My coworker, the HPA's chapters director, Janae, says, You think when Harry is willing to face a Dementor in the name of Quidditch, Remus is just like, wow. You are James's kid. Uh, yep. I especially love when Harry's coaching himself after his first Patronus lesson and he says, They're dead, and listening to echoes of them won't bring them back. You better get a grip on yourself if you want that Quidditch cup. I just love that for a kid who has so much at stake, Voldemort's always coming after him, Sirius Black is coming after him, still, the most important thing in his life, is to win a Quidditch match. It's kind of endearing, actually. A ton of you also loved the talking mirror that Harry had at the Leaky Cauldron. So if you want to see those comments and more and join in with your own thoughts, you should be following the Remember All Readathon tag on Twitter or diving into the comments below each of these videos. People are leaving great thoughts there too. In the next video, we will be finishing up Prisoner of Azkaban, but now, if you like the book, 
Why don't you get the t-shirt? This is newly in the Harry Potter Lion store at dftba.com slash HPA. It is an Azkaban Books Club t-shirt. If you want to show your support of banned or challenged books and how much of a rebel you are for reading them, you should get this shirt. In the comments, I would love to hear more of your thoughts about Dementors and mental health and any headcanons you have about the Marauders because I cannot get enough of those. Till next time, thank you for watching and happy reading. This book is so awesome. I can do anything. This book is so awesome.